comes to needle positions, on the Fav Creative Icon 2, it's a very common question I get. And I don't know if it's just because it's just not obvious where you adjust it, or maybe it's a question of why you would need to move your needle position in the first place. And I wanna show you two distinct uses of moving your needle position for different techniques. So let's start with just a straight stitch. When your straight stitch is selected, open the edit stitch area at the bottom. This will give you all the information you need. Now with a straight stitch, you don't have zigzag or stitch width to see in this area. You see position. Position means that at 0.0, .0 you are in the center needle position. You have very small increments of needle positions, but in other words, there's a lot. As you move it, that is going to be moving your needle. Here's a second question I get asked a lot. What if my machine has stopped and I have my needle in the fabric? Can I move the needle position? The answer is yes. Let me go ahead and set this up just so you can see. I'm gonna take a few stitches, sink my needle into the down position, and then come over to the screen and move the needle position. You just won't see it or hear it move because it will adjust on the next stitch. So as soon as this needle comes all the way up, it moves over to the new position and then starts stitching in the next place. So that is not ever a problem. This machine's smarter than you, so don't think it's gonna, you can do much to hurt it. What is the easiest way to get this needle back to the center position? This is what I like to do. I'll open up the load stitch menu and reselect the straight stitch. Look, it's already brought it back to the center and I don't have to push that other side, the minus, minus, minus sign to get it all the way back to the center. Are you noticing that anything that I change starts to turn to an orange color? So that does give me a better idea. Now, when I go to the left side, you're gonna see a new little symbol that's gonna come up and it looks like a bobbin case because it is. You have a second bobbin case in your machine that is ideal for sewing with the needle in the far left needle position. Now, if you go the other way, you don't see it, it turns off, but just keep in mind for more perfect stitching, you wanna switch out your bobbin case and then make a little note that which one is which. And that is just gonna help you get a more perfect stitch when your needle's way over on the left side. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go ahead, touch my load stitch menu, bring that needle to the center. Now I mentioned I wanted to show you one more thing that needle positions are wonderful with. Let me just stitch with a satin stitch, for example. And I know the built-in satin stitch comes up super wide, so I'm gonna narrow it down just to give you a better idea. So can you see that this stitch is stitching right down the center of the stitching area? I have it at 4.2 millimeters wide, but if I actually touch this little kind of toggle uh, switch under the word width, you can see that there's two things in that area. Now we're back to needle position. You recognize that symbol. Here's what you get to do. It's like being able to take your stitch and say, right justify it. Let it follow along the inside of like the right toe or the left toe. You can actually get it to stitch wherever you want. I do this a lot with decorative stitches when we get into the FOF Stitching Cosmos online course, which I hope you'll check out. We've got links below where you can see and watch a handful of videos for free and see if that course is right for you. These are all the fun things we get into and all those hows and whys and what ifs and how you can use these stitches to a whole new level. But one of the things I wanted to show you is with any of the stitches, now again, if the stitch is already at its full width, let me see if I can find one that's super wide. Well, we could make it super wide. If it's all the way at its full width at nine millimeters uh, from side to side, when you go to position, you can't shift it. It just doesn't have any place to go. So you would have to adjust the width to be something where it actually could 
be smaller and actually could shift to the side you want it to, to shift to. So just keep that in mind. As you're sewing, you can move that needle position wherever you want. If you've ever done stitch in the ditch and you have found that you're always kind of, that ditch is always changing, because it does, the needle position will be your friend because there are so small increments that you can shift it to a little to the right or a little to the left. I love it when I do top stitching and a lot of echo stitching when I'm doing straight line quilting. So I hope you'll try out your needle positions. At least try out how many different ones you have because the increments are so, so small on this machine. So I hope you'll check out all of our videos. We have links below to the entire playlist of free video tutorials on the FOF Creative Icon 2.